Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a natural makeup tutorial um, based on the Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian photo that came out. Everybody was really hyped for it and all of a sudden natural full beats just came into play and now everybody does it. So I'm giving you guys a version <clears throat> So I'm giving you guys a version of the look, not the exact look, just a lot of the same things that they did to achieve that look. Because I had to make it right for my skin tone and I had to use the colors I like to use when I do my natural makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let's get into it. Even though my hair ain't right, videos must be made. First, I'm going to take the Black Opal True Color Liquid Foundation. It's an oil-free base foundation in the color Nutmeg to apply evenly all over my skin using a wet beauty blender. The purpose of using this liquid foundation is not only does it fully cover my face, it allows it to give it a nice matte and natural finish this is a light coverage foundation so it's going to take me a couple coats to fully go over my face but since i'm doing a natural base look that is exactly how i like it to be if your liquid foundation is a little too thin take a concealer in the same color and mix it in just so it can fully even out all over your skin without looking patchy because sometimes you get that with um oil free liquid foundations Next, I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in colors Caramel. The reason why I'm using this concealer is because it's so nice and creamy that when I blend it in with my Beauty Blender, not only does it spread, it up allows it to look lighter rather than heavier all over my face. I applied it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the top middle of my forehead, above my lip, and the middle of my chin. Now I'm taking my wet beauty blender and I'm it's actually damp not wet beauty blender to blend in my concealer. I am slowly dabbing it front to back as you see I'm doing on this video so I can get a nice and even blend fully blended out. Remember we're going for a natural look. We don't want it too heavy. After I blend out under my eyes, I'm going to blend out my chin, the top of my lip, and then slowly blend out the bridge of my nose. I want to keep my line as defined as possible, and then move on to the middle of your forehead right between the brow. Once you are done blending in the middle of your forehead between your brows, you should have a nice, even look between your foundation and concealer. Touch up if needed. That is exactly what I'm doing right now touching it up because my ish look a little patchy get it together girl get it together after that i'm going straight into my translucent powders i'm using laura mercier natural finish and i'm using my sasha cosmetics and buttercup i am not baking in this video because i'm going for a natural look i'm just going to blend it right in to my concealer Make sure you take your time in blending it because you really want it to stick, especially since you're not baking. Baking tends to add a less natural finish to your makeup and more of a glam finish to your makeup. So I am just blending it right in just to set it. <coughs> Jesus, all that powder, Lord, help me. After I'm done fully blending it out, make sure it's completely even take as much time as you need don't rush this process because you can either be too white or too yellow after I'm done blending out my translucent powder I'm going to take my press powder from Mac and I'm going to help finish blending in my setting powder into my foundation just to give my face more of an even finish so it doesn't look like clobs of just stuff going on clob on the forehead clob under the the eyes clob on the nose even it out next I'm using just glam cosmetics powder blush on in colors cocoa the reason why I fell in love with this color is because for a contour it matches almost close to my skin tone so it gives me more of a natural tone contour rather than a heavy defined contour I'm just here to fill in my shadows not so much um, 
fully contour my face it's just supposed to be nice soft and pretty as you see me blending it into the creases of my eyes i'm also prepping the base of my eyeshadow as i'm defining my nose contour you notice in that color even though you add it on heavy it doesn't really stick it just remains light and natural come on just glam cosmetics now moving on to my blush i am using two different blushes i'm using black radiance artisan color baked blush and toasted almond and format from mac cosmetics i'm going to smile and apply those lightly to the apples of my cheek i'm doing format first and then toasted almond on top the reason why i'm choosing these colors is not only that do they mix well with my skin tone they blend well with the rest of my makeup and are perfect for this natural look for my highlight i'm using soleil baked bronzer from milani cosmetics the reason why i'm choosing this for a highlighter is because it just adds a natural glow to your skin it doesn't really add that extra super glammed highlight that most makeup artists like to wear because i want to keep this as natural as possible i want my highlight to be as if i've lightly applied it to my skin Moving on to my eyeshadow. First, I am going to take my cocoa blush that I use to highlight my nose and I'm going to blend it into my creases just lightly to add a nice transition color between my highlight and my eyeshadow look. And it's going to make it look more like my skin tone rather than eyeshadow. Then I'm going to apply my 24 hour insurance primer and blend it in with a beauty blender just to make it flat. After that, I'm taking my Black Radiance True Complexion Palette and I'm going to use a blending brush and the color Sculpt to apply all over the base of my lid. Once I'm done applying that, I am going to take my color from MAC Cosmetics called Sable Matte and apply it right over that starting at the lid almost to my crease but not quite i'm just keeping my eyes very natural and light then i'm going to take a color from mac cosmetics again marshmallow and apply it right on top of my eyeshadow look it's a nice white sandstone color so it just kind of helps blend with what my lids would look like if I had no eyeshadow but gives it some defining color. When I'm done I'm taking the beauty blender from the cocoa blush and I'm going to help blend it all together and then I'm done. For this look I am going to apply individual lashes because it's a natural look strips kind of look a little bit more heavier on the eye rather than individuals just look like an extension of your eyelashes so i really want to keep it natural all you have to do is take the same glue that you would use for your strip and just apply them one by one right on top of your lash line after that i'm moving on to my just lip. realized that i forgot to do my lipstick on camera i guess i didn't press record sorry guys um but i will put everything i used all over my lip on the drop box below just look out for it all over my lips Moving on to my eyes, back to my eyes I should say, I am simply just taking the color Sculpt mixed with Sable Matte and I'm using it to add a nice clean smudge underneath my eye just to kind of help bring out my eyeshadow look. For my eyeliner, I'm using NC45 Pencil from MAC Cosmetics to give it that natural tone. And then I'm going to do a nice thick coat of falsies on both bottom and top lashes to kind of help pop my whole eye. These steps from your lips to your smudge to your um, mascara is really easy. After all that, you clean it up and then you're done. Come on and give it to him, Lincia. Model that natural finish, girl. So here's my version of a natural look. I hope you guys are excited to try it. See y'all in a minute. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I feel like I just need to add two lashes right there so my eyes don't look so bad but i'm not doing it because it was just a long process i'm just not gonna do it i'm not i'm not 
anyways um if you guys have problems achieving the individual lash look if you don't already have them on just buy a d wispy lash apply heavy mascara to your natural lashes put the d wispy on top and you will get the same exact look do not trouble yourself because it does take time if you're not used to individual lashes now please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and please share this video a lot of people are looking on how to do everyday natural looks and i just gave you one so might as well share minds yes i put an s on minds because people do that sometimes anyways don't forget to follow me on all my social media hashtag girl with the long name if you attempt to achieve this look and leave a comment below if you want to show me some love or ask me questions you know or chat you know whatever or just leave the peace sign down there so i know you watching um anyways thanks again you guys and until next time ciao